Well, hello there, fellas, and welcome to another extra video for the Android soundboard. So, in this video, we finally take a look on how you can diversify between different button designs. Well, there are many ways how you can accomplish this, but I think the main two are, for uh, on one side, constant button pictures, and on the, on the other side, random button pictures. So in this video, I'm going to show you the random button picture technique, because it's very easy to implement and you don't have to alter a lot, like uh, with the constant pictures, because with the constant pictures, you would also have to alter the database um, structure and uh, all the other functions. But they both, uh, are based on one simple line of code and that's the set image resource of uh, the image view class. But let's go right into it and let's code something. So to implement the random pictures, we're going into our soundboard recycle adapter. But before we can, well, set any images here, uh, we first need some images. So I just created some very simple and not uh, really nice um, button layouts. And those are in an SVG format, because that's really the format that's really easy to use in Android. And I'm also showing you now how you can, uh, well, include it into your app. So first of all, you need the SVG file, like the button blue SVG here. And then you right click on your resource folder, select new and new vector asset. So there we want to browse our local files, find the SVG file and well, just add it to your app. After that, uh, we have to delete the SVG there or just move it out because uh, otherwise your app will show you some error and then we are ready to go. So what we need is an integer array and that's going to be private. And in this integer array, we want to store the resource IDs of the images. So just type the r.drawable button, r.drawable, button red and r dot drawable button blue or other drawables you like to use. So after we got that, we're going down to our soundboard view holder and let's take a look at our sound item dot XML. And we already defined an ID for the image view in here. So we can use that. That's really good. So go back into the Sunboard Recycle Adapter. Then we want an image view here. And we name that item image view or the like, how you like to call it. And then we're assigning it by calling item view dot find view by ID and handing over the ID of the item, which is image view item. So now we're set to implement the main three lines and those will be first uh, we need a random generator that's coming from Java itself. Uh, well, that's just a new random. And then we want to set the image resource of the currently selected item. And we're doing this by handing over an resource ID uh, from the image resources area. And as an index, we are using the random next int. So we're getting a random integer. And this one will have the border of the length of the integer array. 
So it will only return values that are inside array index uh, border. And then we can just start the app and you will see it will work really fine and you will have random images. So keep in mind, you can always change the image by calling the image views dot set image resource in your recycler adapter. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. I hope that you can use it very well. And I also hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.